Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What is the adult version of finding out that Santa Claus doesn't exist? Finding out that reaching retirement is about hitting a financial number and not reaching an age. Also finding out that this financial target is much harder to reach than you were lead to believe. And it gets worse every year. My dad used to play the lottery. We were poor, but he always played the Powerball, a buck a week. For Xmas, his favorite stocking stuffer was getting us each a Powerball ticket. When he retired and moved to Vegas to live near my brother he would take a trip down to Arizona. Twice a month to buy his Powerball down there. It was his ticket to the possibility of financial success. It rubbed off on me a bit and while I never was a regular player. I would buy one or two when the jackpots got high and dream about what I'd do if I won. Eventually I lucked into a role in a career that made me moderately successful. Not rich, but comfortable enough that I haven't bought a lottery ticket in over a decade. The other day I was at work and one of the senior level leaders who I'm friendly with struck up a conversation about early retirement and making it big in the market so he could do the fire thing. I was immediately struck with the memory of my father and his lottery tickets. No matter how much we make, some of us always think there's some magical rung on this ladder that makes us financially successful and will allow us to just kick back and forget all the rest. But that shit's a fallacy. There's no easy exit for us wage slaves. Work until we die. Make more money. Pay more money. Life's way easier now than it was when I was a kid and was mostly concerned if the box of magic stars had roaches in it yet. But it's still hard in different ways and we're all stuck in it forever. You can do everything right and still fail. The reverse is true as well. It is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness. That is life. Captain Jean-Luc Picard. That is Mario Kart. Finding out that someone you have looked up to and admired your entire life is actually a horrible person. Had this moment with a close friend last year and my life will never be the same. You have to routinely think, hey if I just met this person would we be friends? If the answer is no you have to seriously reevaluate your friendship. That's crazy I said the exact same thing when I decided to stop being friends with someone I'd known for 20 plus years. I thought I came up with the idea lol. Sometimes there is no justice. Mitch McConnell will get what he deserves. Uh huh. Sure buddy. He's been in Congress for almost 40 years and he's been the most powerful senator for half that time. He's doing fine and will continue to for the rest of his life. Even if he were to be tortured to death tomorrow it wouldn't help the millions upon millions of people who have been negatively impacted from his policy choices. His grave will smell like piss for all time, so there's that. Most murders are never solved. And most rapes are never even investigated. $500 isn't a lot of money. Yes. And then also when you need $500 and don't have it it is a lot of money. Having money's not everything. Not having it is. I believe the saying is something like, $1,000 isn't a lot to have, but it's a lot to owe. Quote. That working harder does not equal getting paid more or being promoted. I learned being good at my job prevented me from a promotion because the company needed me in that role. Being a hard worker and good at your job doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be rewarded for it. And the laziest person at work is allowed to be lazy, but the hardest worker isn't allowed a break. This is why boundaries are so important with an employer. Don't give them the idea that you'll work 80 hour weeks. Someone's bad planning or lack of communication does not lead to an emergency that requires you to stay late tonight. Some might call that lazy, others might call that standing up for yourself. There's a balance to be met between burning yourself out for no to little reward and being truly lazy. Split the difference and you're golden. For me it was realizing the high school mindset in people never ends see it in 60 years olds in Facebook now. It's actually infuriating when you're in a work environment and the people that work there still all act like high school students. Joe's sitting around looking at his phone boss, so I'm not going to work either. Brittany looked at me. Tell her to stop. Frank farted in the break room. You need to write him up for being disgusting. Quote, roughly 80% of my co-workers act like this, most are parents and grandparents. I try to keep to myself. Realizing that no, we can't have McDonald's, cause there is food in the freezer. When I was a kid I thought adults had everything figured out and couldn't wait to grow up so I could be like them. Ha. Huh. That going to college and getting a 9 to 5 wasn't going to be the fun. Creative, latte filled experience rom-coms would have you believe. And that getting a 9 to 5 means that you will actually get to stop working at 5. It's where I draw the line. Sure, I may not get the nice promotion or the best bonus, but I'll get my damn sleep. That time period when your relationship switches and your parent looks to you for answers and advice. Instead them being the one with all the answers. Not sure about that one. Dad simultaneously says I'm the smartest person he knows and I don't know how to do anything lol. My mother berated me for taking my masters instead of jumping into the workforce at a time when 
There were no jobs in my field. 2011. She also believes that because she inherited generational wealth that anyone can pull themselves up by their bootstraps and work a minimum wage job to buy a house. We, uh, don't talk much. Working full time and being too drained to chase your actual dream. You guys have dreams. I just don't want to be in pain every waking moment. A. Chronic pain 5. 